One of the four main types of points of concurrency in a triangle is the centroid. A couple key things about the centroid. The first is that it's where the three medians intersect each other. That's a definition of a point of concurrency. It is also the center of mass, or I guess you could call it the center of gravity. But since your mass doesn't change no matter where you are, it's a little more technical to say the center of mass. It also divides each segment into two proportional pieces, one two-thirds of the length and one being one-third of the length. Well, that's a little confusing, so let's take a look at a specific example. So here I've drawn in the medians, and again the median is a line segment from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So I'm going to mark that we have congruent pieces here to show you that we have three medians and they're concurrent. And so the first thing about the center of mass is if I actually built this triangle on a piece of construction paper or cardboard, the place that would balance this triangle is right at the centroid. So I could flip it upside down and I could balance it on my marker here if I constructed that point. Getting back to the proportional part, if I looked at this median BE, so I'm going to redraw it down below. I'm going to have B up here and I'm going to have E down there. The median is right about here. So of this whole line segment, two-thirds of it will be between, I guess I could call this point F, two-thirds will be between B and F, and one-third will be between F and E. So if this whole segment was, let's say, 12 centimeters, then you could say that this part right here, BF, would be 8 centimeters, and FE would be 4 centimeters. So the centroid is the point of concurrency of the three medians, and it's also known as the center of mass.